this table has two drawers this first one looks pretty good and this second one over here oh! Here is the next piece that we are going to be working on. It's a coffee table, and as you can see, it is very dirty or damaged. I don't know what that is. Um, there's two drawers. This one seems pretty okay. This one is moldy, so I'm going to have to replace that because it has a smell side isn't bad this side is not bad but first I'm gonna start standing on this a little bit well maybe I'm gonna start try start out by trying to clean it so I can actually see what this is, if it's dirt or damage. And then once I clean it, I'm gonna sand it down if need, if need be. So again, here is the piece, just a coffee table. It was free. And that is what it looks like. So I'm going to start out by taking my Windex or my generic Dollar Tree version of Windex and cleaning this piece off. And here's how it looks after I wiped it down. And so as you can see, it didn't really make much of a difference in terms of how the surface looks. So I'm going to go ahead and start to sand this and see what it looks like underneath this top layer. And for this part, I'm using 60 grit sandpaper and just my old palm sander. This is where I've gotten after about an hour of sanding. And as you can see, it is cleaning up really nicely. So that's really good. Looks like I have about another two hours worth of sanding to do. And here's what the front is looking like. So that cleaned up pretty nicely. And that is where we are right now. Also, I discovered that these drawers are stuck. So I'm gonna have to flip this thing back over and figure out what is stopping the drawer and how to release it. This one's stuck too. So don't know how I'm gonna get that out, but I'm gonna have to flip it over and I'm sure it will become evident so I started back sanding and here is where I ended up after my second hour worth of sanding. And here is where I ended up after my third hour of sanding. So I finally done and everything cleaned up really nicely so I'm very happy about that even though it did take me a little bit of time to complete. Up next I turned this over to try to figure out how to release the drawer stops. And so I see this little plasticky piece right here. and. I figure out that that is what's stopping it, so I'm going to remove that next. This is kind of a weird angle, but I have you guys on the ground looking up at me. But really nothing exciting to see here. I'm just removing that piece. And it worked. So after I pulled off the drawer stops, I did a scuff sanding. So right now I'm just showing you how everything looks all sanded. I sanded the sides, the front, and the back, and the underneath portion. So you can see right here, I'm showing you how I sanded everything underneath to make sure that there was nothing yucky up under there. And excuse all the particles flying around, but you know, it's a dirty job. And I'm just trying to get you in a little bit closer and show you how everything cleaned up really nicely. I removed the drawers, I removed the feet, and next I am going on to repair the drawer. I also sanded out the drawer that was in good condition. So next I will be moving on to fixing the drawer that was in bad condition. Um, you can see those little triangular pieces that are supporting underneath. I will try to use my jigsaw and get around those so that I can keep them. And that's what I'm doing, just cutting out the 
middle portions of the drawer and then eventually I will pull out any remnant pieces but look at that that's that nasty molded portion so that was pretty gross I was glad to be able to get that out so I just did the same thing on the other side ripped out that bottom portion that's just I don't know what that is if that was mold or dirt but as you can see I was able to remove most of it and I got this panel from Home Depot to cut new pieces I even removed the side portion where the moldy side was just in case there was any residuals and so I had to create a new bottom and a new side so that's what I did using that piece of wood and I just ripped out any remnants with this vice grip um, there were a few remaining little scraggly pieces whenever I cut with my jigsaw so I pulled those out and now I'm going to be focusing on creating a new side to go across here and then a new bottom piece. So after I went to my saw and cut my pieces, I'm just taking my Gorilla Glue and my nail gun and affixing everything all together. Put the side piece on first, then I cut the bottom piece. There is a small gap right there as you can see, but I don't think I could have gotten it any more perfect. I could fill it with wood filler or try to make it look perfect, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, because the drawer is in working condition and I did add back those triangle pieces as you can see as supports and I also nailed those in with my nail gun as well so this is my first time having to fix a drawer or to basically assemble a drawer but it works so yeah for me so up next I have mixed my glass cleaner and some Lysol in here that's why it has this bright green color but I'm just going to Go ahead and wipe everything down. I've done all my sanding that I'm going to do. And now I'm just wiping this down to prep it for paint. It took me quite a while to wipe this down because there are a lot of crevices and smaller areas on this table. But eventually I was able to get it clean. And to me it's just as important to have my products smelling good as looking good. So to give it a nice smell I use this beeswax spray. And it just gives it like a nice honey lemonish smell. Up next I'm going to be standing. I've mixed a couple different grays and I've created kind of a custom stain color. It's just a dark gray color and I'm going to be rubbing that on in the direction of the wood grain all across the top of this and I'm just going to be staining the top and I'll be painting the bottom. And I do like to do my painting and staining inside just so I don't have to move it once I'm finished painting and risk damaging it. So this is how this looked after my first coat of stain. And I liked how that looked, so that's all I was going to do. My paint color is going to be a mix of these three colors, Ink, Mineral, and Elephant by Waverly. And I have made this little concoction out of a box, and I just stuck the legs of this through. If you've ever painted anything round, you know it can be a little bit difficult. So what I did was just make this little stand out of an old box, and it really worked out nicely. I was able to paint and spin as I painted rather than me trying to walk around um, all sides of this rounded object to paint. So that worked out good. That's a little painting hack if you ever need one. And here's how those turned out once they were done being painted. And this is just some more footage of me painting the body of the table and then up next the face of the drawers of the table as well. And I am using a Dollar Tree paint rolling kit so nothing too fancy here. After my paint has dried, I'll be using this polycrylic in a satin finish and a Dollar Tree foam brush. And I'm just going to paint that on. Again, using my little spin and paint technique with my box contraption for the legs. And then just using my foam brush to finish covering the rest. And that is pretty much it. I will be reusing the original hardware, so no changes with that. If you've watched any of my other flips, you know that's something that I don't normally do. But these fit this piece perfectly, so I figured if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm super excited to show you my finished product. But before I do that, I just wanted to pop in and request that you subscribe to my channel. If you have not already, I do chit chats, thrifting videos, home decor videos, DIY videos, and these furniture flips. So please subscribe if you have not already. Thanks, guys. And here is how the final finished product turned out. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and thumbs up this video if you love furniture flips. Let me know if there's anything you would have done differently. If you like or dislike the project, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.
If you have the time, please select another one of my videos to watch from the choices on your screen. Thanks so much, guys.